a quick update of the toss. The two captains in the absence of Matt Hilling Sandoval doing the job for Calicut. But Mundu Samiapu won the toss and chose the side. Which side are you guys on? Impossible to pick a winner. D. Michael and Louis will take us through these lineups. Well, here are the arms of our defenders. No surprises. Angamutu will start opposite 71 points, but 12 at the 13 percent in the last game. Daniel Motazadi, most efficient spiker in the league at the moment. 62 percent efficiency. Santosh Nanda, lots of questions about them this evening. Can they hit their team out of trouble if they don't pass well enough? Manoj has even more points than Motazadi in the middle. They are strong in the middle, the defenders, and that will be key. There is Mr. Dak Shinamorti S. He led this team last year. He knows what it takes to get to the final. Will he be able to lead them there tonight is the question. And go one more. And on the other side of the net, in the red, Jose Sandoval. Please look out for him and his dancing. He already made a statement by heading over to the fans. He's ready for a big night. Ashman in the outside. Jerome, one of the best players in the league in the opposite spot. A new name in the mix. Fala Jarati of Oman has stepped in for Matt Hilling, and he will be crucial if he can step into that passing, hitting role. Shafiq in the middle, and Brett will be setting it up. And Kishore Kumar, let's not forget, head coach, former middle blocker of the Indian team. He is a specialty hitter behind, and we love to see it. Kishore flamboyant Kumar. Flamboyance is his, is in his DNA. Mr. Dan, he looks under more pressure than the players. Or is he putting his game face on? There's pressure on them as well. Sanjay Gandhi on the other side of, uh, of that net, the second referee. I can feel the pressure, the tension in the air. It's that kind of evening here. It's a Saturday night thriller of a semi-final key. Oh my goodness, every single match has been incredible in its own way. There have been ups and there have been downs. But this match, both these teams know what is on the line. So I think we're going to see the best we've seen out of these two teams all season long. On your screen there to your right is uh, Mutu Samia Pabu's mother. And to the left was uh, Shanti John's mother. Families are here, fans are here, volleyball romantics are here. The second semi-final is about to get underway. Here we go. Tomorrow night, Ukra or Pala. He's made his presence felt straight away. He's just arrived in India and he's arrived in this match for sure. Perfect to set him the first ball for Ukra, give him some confidence. He's got 150 points or more in his last five games in Oman. He's got confidence. Questions are tonight how does he pass this different ball out here to Costco? But how? He's high. He's going to be very, very effective. He's also Ooh. going to take the pressure off of Jerome. Alicut are known for relying a little bit too much on the opposite at times to have a split. It's going to work well, especially with Sandoval there as well. Dangerous. Jerome, Sandoval, Bala, the three weapons for the Calicut heroes. Mutu Samiapu sets it for Man Mountain Manoj! the way that he managed to turn the ball away from Sandoval. That's going to be a battle in itself tonight, as there's always going to be these small stories that develop in a game like this. It's all right, these things will happen. Don't worry. Take a leap out of Bengaluru's book. Do not get hassled or frazzled by these service headers earlier in the game. Absolutely. Intention over time is key. The one thing that you would say is that the torpedoes jump serve a lot more. The float serve have to go in if you're tactical serving. Bala, straight to the Libro. Here comes Mutusami Apabu. Bang! Oh, the defenders are showing the edge in their offense as well. The Ambavadis are loving the way their team has started this match. What a great reception it was from that man.
absolutely some big play. They've used the middle last time out. Now they go to the outside. We're going to start to see some one-on-ones if Mutu can start working the middle like we have done with Manoj. I'm also interested to see how Daniel gets involved in this game for the defenders due to the fact that he is so successful. He doesn't get set enough ball, in my opinion, but when he does, he puts it away. Let's have another look at this one. Good pass on the roll away. Cross-court block, and it's a real good swing through the body. You know, both of the outsides for the defenders, they both like to go away from the body, especially Nanda. So that's why they probably set up in the block a little bit more on the angle to turn over the shoulder. To a piece. The second semi-final, both teams ready, so is Sandoval! Sandoval is sensational! That's how he controls the narrative! That's how he gets the Red Army going! He is Kishore Kumar's trump card! We've seen him from day one be so aggressive through the middle, and this time he gets the better of Daniel, and that matchup is something I'm so excited to see. We've seen it once before this season, and it went down to the wire. I have a feeling, I have a feeling we're going to five. And Daniel had the better of Sandoval in that first game, I feel. But Sandoval, serving now, scored 28 points. Sorry, 33 points in his first three games. And he's only scored 24 in his last three. So his form has dipped in terms of point scoring and efficiency. But they'll need him here this evening. And he's had a slight hip injury we hear as well. Last time, Kyle Cooper out on court. A few different injuries, players coming on and off the court, so hopefully they can stay healthy tonight. Okra sets it on the run, Jerome, overcooks it. Now, you know what, these moments will happen in the semi-final. Well, a quick walk through the middle. I'm seeing Jerome everywhere, guys. <laughs> Is so that red I like that Ukra's trying to get his second middle in there. We know that Sandoval is going to be crucial in the offense, but get this man involved too. Shafiq, there's that one leg behind. They love to run. Angabuntu needs to have a great game. Forgettable last outing for him. Shot set! Dwet the needle. This time he gets it right, the number 14. The question is how quickly these players will learn and recover from their previous mistakes. Live in the moment. Shafiq, the man with that super spike. Another on-the-go moment. Group A on-the-go contactless shot. We talk about Ukra a lot, and this is why he's so great. Look, he's coming off the net. His shoulders are facing the opposite direction. He knows that Shamik's just made an error, but he's forcing it back to his middle because it's going to be barely a block, and he's going to open open net. Loving the intensity of this match. Oh, Angamoto has been blocked once by Ashwin now. There's a glimmer of hope for the Caligaliros. Mukusami Apamu straight away puts his hands up and says, don't worry, it's all right, calm down, long way to go. This is going to be an epic battle. I think the confidence is going to be key of Angamutu tonight. That's a little bit low and a little bit tight as well. Angamutu, 13% efficiency against the Thunderbolts two nights ago, needs to up it. He apologised to Angamutu and said wasn't where it should have been. Ukra serves, Moto sets, Daniel gets it! Daniel, you beauty! Daniel Motazedi! Motab high from Ahmedabad! The big brother! He's the big deal, isn't he? Well, he's nothing if not confident. So even when he doesn't have a chance to get a big swing, he's finding a way to score. That's what I've been really impressed with so far, is that when he gets the ball, he's not making mistakes. He's finding ways to put it on the opponent's score. And that's why, when it comes to efficiency, he's not the top scorer in the league, but he kills ball on the most regular basis out of anybody in the league. Oh, touch of luck. And the super sub. That's worth two points. When the opposition doesn't get a touch on your sub, you get two points. Lady Luck smiling on the end of our defenders. And the serve is a trump card. Yes, there's a little bit of luck, but you need to earn it by being aggressive. We've seen super serves before in this competition from that man. And I don't think that's going to be the last we see this evening. Have they taken a crash course from David Lee? A little half-hour session from David Lee on serving, no? Looks like they are, they have. Oh, almost. Nanda's gone full throttle since the first day. 
Yeah, but it's a good point you make, Manish. Serving was crucial yesterday. We saw a super serve to end the first set, a super serve to end the match, and that's the way that an aggressive team plays. They're going for those points. They're not going just to get the ball in play. But again, let your super server do that. Let Nanda go for it. The rest of the players, or if you're not necessarily a super server, once your turn comes around, play the ball. Liberate your service weapon. Oh, yes, I'll oh, save the point. Kept it in play. Great defense from the defenders. Almost a super serve there. Bala! Fires it through! That is fast and furious from Pala, the Omanian. Oh, man, oh, man. Where have you come from? And I wonder, Pala, nobody knows him in the league just yet. It's going to be a Rufe contactless shot, but think about last night and the last few times Bengaloo have played, and they brought in Ali, who nobody really knows how to defend against. This is the first time we're seeing this man in the match, and you see a little bit of an uncomfortable block there. For me, I'm just going to give full credit to Fala to coming out going for it. He has looked absolutely like he's been here for the last five weeks when he got off the plane one or two days ago. Seven apiece. Out of luck. Daniel will not make a mistake tonight. He is bound as his knockout gear. 8-7 to the defenders. This is going to be an incredible semi-final time. For the first Amul Cool technical timeout, back in just a bit, don't you go anywhere. Well, put your seatbelts on and get ready for a bumpy ride. It's turbulent already. There's Daniel crushing another one this evening. He has started brilliantly, and he's going to be a key component to the defender's performance this evening. And here's a reminder of the scoring system, the knockout rules in this part of the tournament. The playoff matches are going to be played best of five, not just five continuous sets. So if you win the first three, have to win by two points as well. You have to be clear. We're gonna have three reviews for each team. Once it's taken, it can't be reviewed. We've got eight seconds after the point ends. Call that review. So things are a little bit different here in the playoffs, but not much. Much to worry about if you're a player or a coach. Just lots of tension, lots of drama, and lots of excitement. But that's exactly what this league's about. Valor serve. This time they go back to the middle. And it's a good start from Ukra because he's used Shafiq three times and Shafiq has looked dangerous. Yes, he missed the first one on the back set, but the two in front of his setter, he's put away beautifully. And I'm just having a look at this again. Daniel calling that ball as his ball. I think he served maybe a little soft, but again, it's not his role to get those super serves. Manoj not able to get Shafiq stopped there at the front. Oh, you can see Daniel, I think, apologizing for a slightly soft serve, but now it's the defenders receiving serve. First one's out of system. High ball to Angamutu. Angamutu will take his time. Sandoval always there, always a threat. Ukra sets it. There was a net fault. No, says the referee. Mutu. Oh, yes! That's how you outbox the opposition. Outclass, outthink, outsmart, out of this world from Muttusami Apubu. His mother's here, making Mama proud. Yeah, Mutu's not the player that we're used to seeing do those cheeky little dumps. 
it's normally the job of Uker to get those two-handed dumps over, but he sees the opportunity, throws it, and I love that with his right hand as well, so not even easy to read. He didn't have many other options, did he? It's going to be very difficult to set that anywhere else. That's Mukusami up of Usmada. Look, Mama, I'm trying to win a semi-final for my team. I, 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 you know, I love his body language so far. Every time they lose a body, he tells his teammates, calm down, it's all right, relax. Which is such a key. It's such a powerful intangible, isn't it? It, it absolutely is, but he also has to work on his own temperament this evening. We've seen him sort of start to lose his temper at times when he feels things go against him, and then the offense goes as well from the defenders. And then an error at the net allows uh, Malakut another point. It's so important to stay focused on every point. You loosen that grip a little bit, and the opposition is capable enough of uh, just running away with the set. And that's the second time the reception's been a little bit tight. The only difference here is that Nanda is, or excuse me, who am I calling it? Mutu is backcourt instead of frontcourt, so he can't attack that ball. He has to keep it on his own side. Unfortunately, not able to control it, so the point goes the other way. The plus side is at least they're missing with aggressive mistakes. Rather see them pass on too aggressively than off. Oh, Vienna. That went way outside, Jerome. Couldn't get his bearings right on that occasion. It's ten apiece. The Red Army is looking to touch nervous. That's rare. It's the semi final. Oh, they are quieter than usual. Much quieter than usual. Pressure. We're in the pressure cooker of Kochi. Ten apiece. We've seen everything in this first set so far. We've seen service setters, super serves, great spikes. I'd like to see a block. Oh, well done. Boom! Take that, Calicut! Send Manoj! Or oh, was it Nanda? It doesn't matter. It's Andamad. 11 10 to Andamad. Nanda seeing the opportunity and grabbing it with both hands. So I like that Ugra's trying to force Sandoval here. Again, we know that they want to get him involved. Sandoval, that's the second time he's had to cover himself. But Nanda, just no bars held. I'm all for the creativity of Ukra trying to get his middling off the net, but I think that was too far and the ball was too low. And I think it was easily read in the end from the blockers. It's a race to 15, but you've got to have a gap of two points. That's what Emdabad are looking for. Ukra sets it for Jerome! That is a magnificent strike! The first from Jerome in this semi-final. That man has woken up. Beware! Beware, Emdabad! Jerome has arrived. Well, we've been waiting for it, haven't we? They call it the Jerome Show sometimes. 42 points in his last two matches. 56 in his last three games. He only had 28 points in his first three. That's how important he is to the team this evening. I'm interested, though, is there a little bit less pressure on him now that they're starting to use the middle a bit more and now they have Fowler on the outside? He's going to be aggressive. I think... Sorry, Manish. I think that's a great point. Because last night we saw Vinny struggling a little bit because the other players weren't able to pick up some slack. And the ball has called for a super point. That's guts for you. And they will get it! Oh, Uncle Mutu's in as well! That had so much more drama to the madness of this semi-final. Jerome on one side, Uncle Mutu on the other. This is sensational! I mean, that's absolutely clutch from Angamutu, fighting out at 44% or hitting at 44% this season, but it's a big time to call the super point. And if that goes the other way, Andabad is struggling. Courageous stuff, but maybe it's a night for being brave. 13-11 in response. Karakat said, all right, we will go all in as well. Now then, this super point, if it goes Andabad's way, the first set will go to Ahmedabad. The super point is worth two points, remember? It's the magic number is 15. Harsh, the lefty with the serve. Chance for Sandoval. No, it's for Jerome! And he gets it! Muttusami Apavu, a little late to move to his left. And there was so much spice on that Jerome spike. And it has level scores. Two back-to-back -back points for uh, Jerome beneath Ajit Lal. He's done that on so many occasions, we call him the Hydrogen Boy. The 
but the pressure tells us that this is a gas chamber, guys. So much pressure, but I feel like Jerome's the kind of player that thrives under pressure. Give him the ball all day, every day. He'll do that for you. We said this a few times, haven't we? There's a mismatch for Jerome tonight because of Nanda and Santos being small on that right side. The Thunderbolts capitalized on it wonderfully the other evening. Maybe Jerome will have a bit of a field day there. We'll have to wait and see. Had a chance to hang out with Bat Hilling today. And he said, Jerome, one of the most decorated and loved volleyball players in all of India. Can't go anywhere without getting a selfie. And I can see why. Angamoto went down the line. A smart deploy there. Ashwin, first cover. What does Eddie? Angamuttu, overpass, Calican. Here they come! Set point! Ooh, nervous moments. The Calican heroes hold their nerve. Senior Hilling is into it as well. <laughs> I love how much Matt Hilling's dad is enjoying this league, all parts of it. But right now, a little bit of a scramble on Ahmedabad's side. They're not looking fully comfortable. But remember, you have to win by two points. So no matter what happens, there is a little bit of a cushion there. Absolutely. Free ball from Fala. Shafiq has been outstanding. We haven't mentioned him a lot this season, but he's putting three from four away at the moment. And maybe, just maybe, we have a favorite tag on Kalakut. The Rupe VIP, Fox on the go. Yep, best seats in the house. Our friends from the Rupe group. Well, these fans add so much uh, color and flavor to the mood of this tournament. Tonight's a special night at the Regional Sports Complex. You can own a lot of the big moments from this league. Buy them as an NFT courtesy our NFT partners, treasureclub.io. Which one would you own, Manish? Uh, I think the trophy winning moment. We'll wait for it tomorrow night. Our coverage starts at 7 p.m. Who will it be? Bengaluru versus who? We'll know in an hour and a half from now. Boom! Close level! Easy peasy! Put to Angamotu. Typically leads to that. Now then, 14 all. It's not a race to 15 anymore because you need a difference of two points to win the set. Yeah, and that's a game changer, right? That's something we've spoken about all season long, how it kind of a match could just disappear from you in the snap of a finger because you only have to win by one. Now both the teams have that little bit of space, a little bit of breathing room. They don't have to be quite as stressed on this point. Agamutu serving. The big players are coming to the forefront of this game at the big time. And finally, Daniel Motesaini comes in with a huge block on Shafiq and on the bat start believing that they can turn this one around. Set point. Daniel Mortazeni. He's a beast. He's the Don. I love that he's jumping full throttle there because Shafiq, as we mentioned, isn't one of the big top scoring players of this team, but he sees what's been happening. He's trusting his gut. Well, there's the scoring system. Very different to the league stages. Remember, that was the 15 points. Now it's too clear until 21. That's the cap, so a team has to win by two. But now, Amdabad still on the serving end, so you're more likely to win a point when you're receiving the ball, Louis. Would you agree that you're more often to side out is what we call it when you're receiving the ball? But if a server like this at the line it makes it tough. Angamuchi is coming at the right time, isn't he? This is his moment to serve well enough to deny a great pass or a great set or a great spike to the Calicut heroes. Mr. DG Chaudhary, the man on your screen there, one of the owners of the Ahmedabad defenders, he's a proud man, he's a good man. Very dignified, loves this team. Angamutu, set point to Ahmedabad. Great serve, Ukra. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nervous, nervous service reception. Okra makes amends. Serves an absolute dolly for the spiker from zone four. Scores level once again. We're in for a long night here. Great serving from Angamutu. He's turned this one around. But Ashman hasn't really had a lot of the ball. Probably the perfect time to go to him. And then Daniel still gets across though. Yeah, and Ashwin, it's a couple of times now the block has gone up and been on the way down when the ball's coming through. So that's great timing by Ashwin. 
There comes Agamotto. That ball curls away. Now then, this is going to be a seesaw battle. And uh, it looks like Endabad want to review this. They're claiming a touch off the block. They look confident. Maybe a feather touch off the block, we'll find out. It was tough to tell from the angle where we were sitting because it had a bit of a side spin on it. Oh, very good challenge. A pinky finger. Great challenge. Credit to Daniel. He went immediately to the bench and said, I saw it, I heard it. Please ask for a review. Great review. And we saw this yesterday. All these little things add up over time. And at this stage of the set, it can't be any closer than it is now. A total of three reviews available. The first one has been used and used very well by the Andavar defenders. So switched on, these Andavadis. They are eagle-eyed in the front court. And the captain's mother is loving it as well. 16-15. Now then, set point once again to the defenders. They will serve. It's Arangamutu this time, it's Nanda Gopal. I love his, uh, his service routine. Will he do it? Bukra. It's there. And the bar now. Chance to close the set. Ooh, he should have gone big. What has any? For Mutto. Here he comes! It's still not over. What a nervous rally this is. Chance again. Mutto for Daniel! The first set! The first set to the Amdabad defenders! One step closer to the finale! A nervous first set! What an incredible finish in the first set! Nervous moments! What has any seals the deal? And the Amdabadis love that man! Thank you, Motabhai! When you get him in the game, your team flourishes. It's exactly what Mutu's done. Daniel's on fire. They've taken the opening set, the defenders. And my word, what a game this is turning into be. First set, Amdabad, take it. So much more volleyball to play. Make sure you come back.
Welcome back to the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. It is all happening here in the second semi-final of the league. Amdava defenders have gone up one set to zero over the Calicut Heroes. And there's a look at how it was done. Those stats don't really tell me as much as you might think because these two teams are going down to the wire. It could have ended at 15-14, but because it's a semi-final, they have to win by two. All these exclusive stats available on volleyballworld.com and for the semi-final, we got a couple of really special guests. There's Finn Taylor, the CEO of Volleyball World, and Guido Betty, the Chief Business Officer of Volleyball World. Such a pleasure to have them here watching this incredible league at its absolute best. It's so great because everyone that I know from Volleyball World, I do a bit of comps there as well, have told me what a great job this league is doing. And for someone like Finn to come out here and support it, that's huge. Now, Calicut's resolve is going to be tested. Here comes Angamotu. Okay then. Okra. Type attack. Still in play. Not anymore. That had enough uh, gas on it. Do not come back. Big start. And if you're looking at the stats so far, Daniel is going at 100% efficiency. As is Nanda. And is, as is Manoj as well. This is a big fiery start from both teams, but the defenders will take a lot of confidence because in that final league game against the Thunderbolts, they were a little bit under par when they under the weather in their performance. And they're right back in the mix. Yeah, both these teams had a couple of forgettable last outings on the court. So that's why I feel like this match is a little bit of a revenge match, not against each other per se, but against the last teams they had to face. That one's going to be a Rupe contactless shot from Menage. He is in the mood. In the league stage, the Calicut heroes lost three games. One of them was to the end of our defenders, 2-3. Well, that's the thing with the pass. It doesn't matter. The semi-final is a clean slate. Oh! Just inside! Another beauty! Another diamond from the defenders. They lead 3-1 in the second set. That shows how much pressure the heroes are under. It's a float serve deep, it's not even close. The libero for me brother has to go back with that ball and track it, then play it or choose to leave it. I love that it's Butu that gets that serve, a float serve, pretty soft and deep. That's a super one for him. Okra, sets it, Fala gets it. Where has this man come from? just landed in India and he's into it straight away. Wow. That was a big question for me as well because coming into this league, first of all, you don't know your teammates, you're fresh off the flight, it's a new ball, but that's a great job. That ball is wide and that's not a perfect set. He does something smart with it. I think we're going to see a lot of good things from this man today. He's, he's three from three, 100% efficiency, but every ball so far has gone away from the body, wrist away. I'm interested to see if others will start to see that. Oh, once more! Super serve at that. Calicut in the lead now. I'm not picking a winner. I'm not even sitting on the fence. I'm miles away from the fence. That is such a good serve. You can see the two players looking at each other, waiting until the very last minute. The thing about this serving rule is you have to be really proactive. You can't wait for the ball to come to you. You have to move your feet, at least to get that touch on it to avoid the two points. The row. This time he goes fast, straight at the libero. Mutko sets it for Angamoto. This doesn't uh, get it right. Here comes Jerome. Will not be blocked. The double block messes it up. Is this going to be Calicut set? We'll have to find out. But one thing is worrying for the defenders is their pass is now looking a bit shaky. At the moment, Nanda's the best passer in the team. And he's the 16th best passer in the league at the moment, the competition. Their pass can go, and if the pass does go, it's trouble. That's what happened against the Thunderbolts two nights ago. Rome at the service line, again, going for the third. Impressive to Nanda, good ball in, but Sandoval, let him know. his responses. He is so animated. This is exactly what they need. They need San 
the bell to get animated, to start firing up. He hasn't really been in the game the opening set. He needs to get himself in, and that's a great start. Right on the money, Sandoval with that one-man block. Room services have been lucky for Calicut. Daniel Mortazeni is off court for now. Oh, awkward. Muttu sets it. Moranga Muttu. Never there. Never there. Disturbed by the antenna. The presence of the blockers. Uh, perhaps uh, completely unsettling his rhythm there. He needs to wake up, Moranga Muttu. What happened against the Thunderbolt? Raul K got rhythm behind the baseline. Ashwell got rhythm behind the baseline. Jerome's getting rhythm behind the baseline tonight. And it's all going away now from the defenders. They've lost their first pass and they're in trouble. Yeah, you're exactly right. That aggressive serving from Calicut has turned the tables. We talk a lot about how that first touch is so important. We're looking here at the top five spikers, but they're nothing without a good pass and a good set, which is what Abdabad are kind of missing at the moment. Calicut, on the other hand, they've got Fala stepping into that role of Matt Hilling. He's doing a great job. His receptions so far have been incredible. Here's a look at the top five blockers. And again, that's so much tougher to do when there's a good pass on the other side. You have to read it, you have to move. Much, much tougher to do when there's a good pass. Four point lead. Jerome has been on a roll. This set so far has belonged to Jerome and his services. A super serve, a couple of fiery flat serves as well. It's a fifth serve for Jerome. Now that's unlikely to end if uh, Calicut keep playing like this. Jerome, chance for Endavar to break the shackles. Akamutu does the job finally. He's had enough. That's how you announce your arrival in this set. These are good signs, an ominous signs for this match and for the Calicut heroes. First time they've got the pass in and they build through the rally. They don't kill it the first time, but they do enough to put the pressure on, get the ball back, and then go to Angamudu to fire it away. Question is, can they pass consistently enough this evening for me, the defenders? It's a big ask. But they have to perform if they want to make the final. 7 four. There comes Jerome. No chance. Stop that if you can, guys. Looks like Jerome is now slowly getting into a zone where he'll prove to be a much bigger threat for the Ahmedabad defenders. 8-4 to Caligan as we head into an Abul Kool technical timeout. Welcome back to the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. Here's a look at the Amul Kool Emerging Player Leaderboard. Of course, if you want to be on this, you have to be less than 25 years old. You have to have never played for the Indian national team. There's some impressive players on there, I'm not going to lie. Even one of the big scorers for Bengaluru. Big upcoming player there, and we're going to see him in the finals tomorrow. Imagine an Indian team with these players. Whew. Watch out, world. Almost comes with the serve from Pala there, just outside. And Kishore Kumar has decided to review it straight away. Interesting, because you said this yesterday. I don't think he needs to call the review there just in case he loses it with four up. This was your point in yesterday's game, Key. I don't know, he must be sure. That was close enough, I think, to call. He's 
but you're right. He's comfortable right now in this set. Maybe save those reviews for when it's really tight and it comes down to the line. But I do think, having a look at this, they might have some truth to it. I think it's long. It just depends if that's the contact or that one. Tough to tell. And just before these replays, I saw Muttusami tell Ukrapandian it's out. Just outside, I reckon. Oh, oh. did that kiss the oh, line? Oh, oh, oh. That, that is in. That changes the story, doesn't it? I was sure that was out. Huge credit to Sandoval. He looked right over the bench, said, let's let's challenge this. I have confidence that ball is in. Well done, Kishore Kumar, a super sub. For the Calgary Rose. Ajit Lal is loving it as well. And may he be back on court soon on what is a game-changing league for this sport. 10-4, Caligan running away with this second set. Now I'm really worried about the defenders and how they bounce back. They had a test of character the other evening against the Thunderbolts. They didn't come through that test whatsoever. Now they're getting tested by service pressure again. This man has been incredible. Butto. Boom, the block! That is a blockbuster block! That is how you nullify a bombshell! Sandoval, you magician! Sandoval, huge, huge block out of him. His confidence is growing. He's on the top blocker's leaderboard for a reason. Big moves, getting way over in front of Nanda, closing to Ukra. But again, credit to Bala. He's on this service line, putting pressure on the other side. He is Sando the Wall. S-A-N-D-O-W-A-L-L. -L -L. Impossible to get past that man. 11-4, great sub once again from Bala. Here we go! This time he gets it! Goes past that double block, splits that gap like knife through butter, goes past Ukra and Sandoval to keep Amdabal in the hunt. It's 11-5 in the second set. Well, this time he puts the ball away, but there's two up against him again. He goes over the top of Ukra this time. I think, again, are the defenders undersized at the pin tonight? We're finding out whether their efficiency is going to be enough if the pass or the first defense isn't perfect. We've asked this question a lot of the outsides of this team over the past few weeks. So the super serve! That's one way to try and influence the game and get back in this second set for the defenders. Step on up, but the substitution. Rahul. Or is it Rahul wearing a Rahul jersey? Oh man, that is, what a time to get a super serve. Right down that channel, nobody knowing who to go for. How many super serves have we had already? A few dozen. Four super serves in this set already, I've been told. Courtesy volleyballworld.com. Five overall, 11 cent. Okra, Osando. You know what happens when he gets in. Oh, was there an error? Uh, Diana D awards the point to Calicut. He tells them about the review it if you want to. What were they asking? I'm not 100% sure from where I'm sitting, that ball was in all day, but I think that Amdabad is starting to clutch at straws a little bit, hoping that was out, but what an angle. My goodness, Sandoval showing off a little bit. Isn't it great to see Sandoval really back involved in the games? He's been a little bit quiet as of late, 24 points in the last three matches. He had 33 in the first three, and now he's back on four. He's dancing again, that's what is most important to me, anyway. <laughs> gonna spring in his stride, more than a spring in fact. Fast outside, oh, how close was that? Well made, the deficit now four, can end the ball stop back in the second set. Look back at what you did in the, oh! The Admiral David Lee is here. The man that's turned the Bengaluru torpedoes into a mean machine is here making notes once again. Well, he's not listening to us, that's for sure. His headphones are way off this time. He listens to his heart, for sure. Ukra Pandian. No, that won't work. That went to the other side, outside the antenna. 12-10, he's getting closer, and the about clawing back. The typical tight semi-final, isn't it? Ebbs and flows, the pass will go from one team. They'll leave a ball they shouldn't. Then it's the same on the other side. And that's just some nerves, but Angamutu has served incredibly well going after the seam there. The Liberic for me is under a lot of pressure. Yeah, and again, he's next to a new player, so Fala and he have only had a day 
to train together and try and get that rhythm and understand who's taking what zone. So if Angamutu and Azabad can really take advantage of that, they can push the button. And Angamutu served them to his right side, Rangel went to the left side. I think there's a bit of a ploy to keep the libero moving a little bit and keep him under the cosh because uh, it's a little bit shaky at times. Angamutu into the net this time and have a look at what it means. But it's okay, Mr. Angamutu, we have time. I think he's, he's in a battle with himself. It's what's going on between the two years. The super point has been called for by Sajjal Hussain Malik, the assistant coach of the Ahmedabad defenders. Lakshmi a figure of calm, very composed, 13-9 it is. This could well be set point for Calicut. This point is worth two. Here comes Angamuttu. Not enough power, chance now. And they will not get it yet. Chance. Boom! The second set. To the Caligan heroes. Yes, 5:15-9. They have just completely run away with the second set, hardly allowing the Ahmedabad defenders any chance, any semblance of a chance. Now that is why we believe Caligan are one of the most dangerous sides in this league. They have been consistent for the entire season. Had that little bit of dip the last few times we saw them out, but this is the team we are used to seeing. Sandoval dancing, players throwing their bodies, super serves all over the place. That point ends with four touches, but I think it was done and dusted long before this point. If they serve well, the heroes, they have a real chance. The pressure was on the passing unit for long periods there, and then they struggled to run the offense they would have wanted. Well, there we go, 1-1. One, one as we head to set number three, it's time for us to take a very, very, very short break. Well, we knew that this was going to be a close one. 1-1 one, one after the opening two sets. And the stats are pretty close. More unforced errors from the defenders who struggled with coping with the serves of the Calicut heroes in set two. Well, you can find all of the stats on www.volleyballworld.com. The exclusive 
That's of the Rupe Prime volume. Plenty of content as well on Share Chat Mod and YoYo TV. I'm looking over at the stats. Angamutsu, Daniel, and Nanda all pretty quiet in that set, whereas in set number one they had three points or two points apiece. Really slowed down in the second. And the bar need to press the reset button. They need to get this guy going. Just in the nick of time, right on cue, Angamutsu has changed gears. Absolutely need to get Angamutsu going. That first pass from Manoj was a little bit slippery out the hands. The one thing is, is that you need to get Daniel and Manoj back in the game and pass well to release Angamutsu later on in the set. They hardly used Angamutsu until the end of the first set. They don't want to be using him too early. The captain serves it. Ooh, just outside. Well done by Prabha the Libro. For a second he thought about uh, trying to receive it and said, no, 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 let it go. Good call. That's the tough part about being a Libro or being a receiver at all because we talk so much about at least touching the ball to avoid those super serves. But if you're sure that it's out, resist the temptation. And fair play because last time Muti Sami used that serve, he got a super serve. Hands off the floor, all tempting, but left. And in turn, it turns out to be an incredibly good lead. Can it do a good start? And maybe the passing questionable again from the defenders. Yes, Sandoval, as always, uh, a huge threat in the front court. Not a great service reception. Sandoval uh, making merry. Now, it looks like Calicadar in a happy bubble of sorts. Everything they're doing is going right. They're taking the right decisions. This sport is about split-second decisions, whether you go for it or not, touch it or not. Balkan lead 2-1 in this third set. It's one apiece in the second semi-final. After two sets, what a great serve from Jerome. Here comes Angamoto! The angle man goes down the line. And it's very, very fine. <laughs> that great serve again from Jerome. He's not taking his foot off the pedal at the service line. The difference here is that Amdabad have got four players lined up in the reception, but Nanda just putting that ball up on a plate for his setter. Angamutu providing to be the perfect outlet when there's not many options. At least you can feed him and you'll do something with it like that. Rupe contact was shot and there is the angle man. A lot of pressure on his shoulders. Jerome's living up to the hype, that's for sure. The dosh. Sandoval, no, it's Pala! Where did that land? How oh, quick was that? That is fast and furious from Pala. Mutusami checking if they should review it. No, it's, it's not worth the risk, let it go, it's all right. It's all right, use that review later. Question would be maybe Angamutu's a little bit too inside there as the approach line was very straight, as you said, Key. Bala. Hands outside. Just a bit too much on it. Kishore Kumar reckons it landed inside or on the line. Sandoval says, let's review it. And Kishore Kumar has gone with what Sandoval has said. So they've reviewed it. To me, it looked just out. Or maybe kissed the line. I don't know. We'll find out. A couple of replays on offer for the TV rep. Why did they review it? Because uh, the first rep did not even decide. Have they, have they been a touch too eager? I think it's a referee review. We might have to get that confirmed, but they haven't given a decision yet, which means the first referee might have gone to review it himself. It's a big moment, let's be honest. The super serve here certainly doesn't do any favours for the defenders. And if it is in, that's two super serves for Fala, the man who has literally just got off the airplane stepped on the Indian soil, touched this Costco ball for the first time in his life, and thrown in two aces in the semi-final. And he's still scoring at 100% efficiency. He hasn't been stopped. He's killed every ball, and he's serving super serves. My word, what a late draft from that man there in your picture. Yeah, talk about a secret weapon. I'm loving that some coaches are unleashing some weapons that we haven't seen before, of course. David Lee had a few on his bench. This one just been brought in to reinforce the ranks, but it's exciting. You know, 
the umpire didn't even re the first referee did not even react and Kishore Kumar said no it doesn't matter what you think we want to review it in case you're thinking about calling it out the problem is if he's lost one of their reviews on a, on a ball that wasn't even a decision given that's that's kind of a waste but I'm excited to see it let's have a look Austin uh, outside Wow Kelly could have blown a review here for no reason yeah, that looks, certainly looks out. But also, it's so early in this third set. Review will be unsuccessful. Ball was out. Sandoval sold it to Kishore Kumar. Hmm. Will this cost the Calgary Heroes a semi-final? Who knows, in the clutch moments, they might need a review. They've just wasted one for, for no reason. Huge tactical blunder here. Maybe, but... We get a feeling for this game and the service pressure that the heroes are coming with. Defenders are still under pressure and have a look at that one in return. Ukra was there. Muttu sets it. Now he had to go across to the other side. Sandoval, pipe attack, Fala! Fala! The flying superstar! Flying Fala! He's fast and furious. He's frenetic. Not friendly at all. Well, Ukra using his weapon, getting him a zero block, but man, oh man, what a performance. First day out, been really good. 150 points in five games in Oman is some scoring record. And now we know why. 100% this evening, four from four. Boom! That is an incredible strike from zone four. Do not count the defenders out. They are very much in this game. That great swing by Nanda. And again, we're talking a lot about the big players in the big moments. Nanda getting a okay, contactless shot here because he is smaller, but look how high he's jumping. All down to the pass. He can have a field day when the pass is in that good position. As soon as it's off, he's struggling with the two blockers getting across. Middle committed, happy days for him on that occasion. Okra, shot set. Where's that ball gone? Where exactly where uh, Shamim wanted it? A very difficult angle. Key Michael will tell us why. Shafiq. Now, let's get Louis to analyze this. While Key sips her hot cup of tea. No, Key's back. <laughs> just had to have a minute because that's a fantastic swing. We just talked about the other players who were getting those really great angles. Shafiq finding the sideline. He's been incredible tonight. This has been an offensive masterclass from the Calicadinos. And the Bath competing really well. Angamotto! They're asking for an error. Backcourt attack. Backcourt attack violation from Angamutu. Stepping on that three meter line. That's the basic rule. We'll see that in the replay. I've got to say, it's going to be a foot over for sure, I think. Let's have another foot. Can't be on the line or over it. That's on the line. Easy from Angamutu. At the moment, I've got to say, they're using Shafiq, they're using Fala on the pipe. Ukra's running a lot more of an influential game than Mutu Sami. Ukra versus Muttu. Post to post. And he deposits it beautifully for spikers like him. The banks are working on a Saturday evening as well. They certainly are. This time, the pass is off again. They have to go to the outside. They're not using the middle enough here, the defenders. This moment, it's a great out-of-system rip, but they need to start getting the middle in, getting one-on-ones on the outside. That's what's happening with the opposition. But this army tries something new. Key, you loved that, didn't you? I was about to say, that's not even me preaching. I love it, Louis. Thank you. Back me up. Bala, with that reception, allows a chance. Muttu for Daniel! At the dawn, Daniel, what has any for you? He's a marauder, isn't he, Motazeni? Efficiency through the roof. And again, if you have a chance, use him. He does not miss. I think in the last two sets, he's only actually got two sets. First set, they used him a lot. The ball has to be in, though. The pass has to be better than it currently is to make life easier for Mutu. Use all your weapons, Sami. Use all your weapons. If Kalikan have Fala, and the Bad have Mortar Zeddy. They've got what it takes to win this semi-final. They have enough weapons in their arsenal. 
and there are enough moments for you to buy as an NFT, courtesy our NFT partners, treasureclub.io. This match is a treasure. That's giving us so many magical moments. The action from the third set has been incredible. Also, I'm loving this addition of the camera in the side out, on, on the sideline. That wasn't there before. Yeah, let us in. We're basically in the box with the fellas. Hey, guys. Some nervous faces in there. And Sandoval, he's ready to go again, isn't he? If I was a camera person, I'd stay miles away from Sandoval. And check my life insurance or medical insurance. Six apiece now in the third set. Here we go. Great serve straight to Fala. Once again, chance. Mutto. Four motors at E. Another diamond from the dawn. And the water shining like a little crystal. How they deal in the rotations when Jerome comes back to serve and the heavy serve as well. But this one's a break point. So it's even better. An overpass this time from the heroes. Two in quick succession. This is what we're talking about. And interestingly enough, when these two faced off earlier in the league, Daniel was the top scorer for his team with 14 and Sandoval with 14 on the other side. So the middles, these two teams know how important it is to use their middles. We're not just peaching to the choir here. They know it too. Another great sell straight to Fala. They're attacking Fala. That seems to be the plan. The double block will not work because Jerome has so much power. They're claiming a, a service, a, well, a fault under the net. I don't think so. What I really like about this from Jerome is that he was under pressure and he just quickened everything up. He gets the, his feet to the ball unbelievably well with a very quick arm. Happy days. That's a smart swing. Rome does a great job of hanging in the air and I think that's what's stuck on Daniel and Mutu a couple of times is that wait and hit on the way down while the blockers are on the way down as well. Mutu Sammy apologized to Daniel Motazari with his folded hands and said, okay, calm down. I cannot calm down. Seven of peace. As we head into an Amul cool technical timeout, don't you go anywhere. This is where the party is. Welcome back. The score is 8-7 to Ahmedabad here in the third set. But this is a look at the MVP leaderboard. Guru, of course, still sitting on the top. We've said his name now once. Won't be saying it very much anymore as he's out of the competition. But Jerome there right in the third spot. He has been crucial all throughout this season and will continue to be so in this match. What is it? He has been the star of this third set so far. He's uh reminded himself and the team of what he did against uh, the Cali Cadillos when these two teams met in the round robin stage. Remember, Ahmedabad won that match 3-2. Yeah, they'll have confidence out the back of that for sure, but there's so many rotating factors when it comes to using what there's any to pass. The setter's decision. We know that Jerome's going to get a lot more ball just out of safety. I've seen Ahmedabad continuing to serve to Fala. And this time, they go straight to the Libro. Ah, just hits it outside. Trying, trying a bit too hard, I think. Akimutu needs to just relax, settle down a little bit. I want to have another look at that, because I feel as though his path might have been a little bit obstructed by the libero. 
see there just a little bit. I mean, that's barely out, so that's still a good swing despite not looking fully comfortable. But again, if Angamut is not firing, this was the trouble when they played against Gallagher. He didn't look like himself. He's got to get going, or the team has to find a way to get him going. Once again, straight to the Libro. Mutusami up a oh, Great defense. Not good enough. Sorry, I spoke too soon. That was an incredible swing. Great at Shafiq. I really want to see him get managed in the game now. Uji, we've seen Daniel get in. And Manoj is so effective in there. But Muji Sami isn't becoming too reliant on Anger Muji either. The spread of the offense is starting to come. Smart play by Santosh here. I talked about it a lot, but after the middle blocker has just served, aim at them in the defense. It is not the middle blocker's specialty to get that ball up. The captain serves into Sandoval. Okra sets it. This could be easy. The block did get a hand or two. To stop that spike, but uh, no shock absorbers once again. Now, Fala has been happy shock. He's actually been perfect. <laughs> 100% for that man right there. Just that one serve that went out by about a sliver of a hair. What an addition to the team. He's incredible. He's got to come back next year for sure. Jerome hits it long. Doors level once again, it's centerpiece in this third set. In case you've just joined us, where have you been? This has been a magnificent contest between these two solid sides. Look at the number of service centers that's added their own, uh, own drama. Okay, both teams starting to go for the serves. That's a big moment. If that was Jerome's serve, I might have just missed it. That's huge for the defenders because he's been a thorn in their side all evening long from the service line. Okra. Fofala. Oh, just about. Boom! If the spike doesn't work, the block will. If Fala doesn't work, Sandoval will. Calicut will keep coming at Andabards from every angle, every zone, every single time, 11-10, to the heroes. And for me, again, it's that high ball that gets him in trouble. Nothing that Nanda can do. He's absolutely smashed from the blocker. Sandoval gets across to get the double up, and these are the moments, the situations where the defenders struggle. Well done, Prabha. Angamutu sets it. Oops. Highly out of system. Try again. This time he gets it. Calm under pressure. Didn't get hassled by his uh, first fail attempt on the Gopal there. One more, Rupe on the go point. This is neck and neck in the third set, 11 apiece now. And the seventh point of the match. He's doing a great job of finding that line. So last time, Ukra was perfectly lined up on him, and this time, just that little bit extra space, he's able to squeeze the pass. Very nicely done by Nanda. And more speed from Mutu as well. If you have small players on the flanks, you've got to feed them quick. Ash with the serve. Here comes the pipe attack. Once again, on the money, that is a sensational strike from Fala al Jarani, the Omanian. Oh, my man, there's every Caligar hero supporter here. The Red Army is in love with Fala. Beautiful swing, and I got to give him credit, but I'm also wondering how much of it is a little bit of luck because the other team doesn't know where to, where to block him, where to stand on defense, how to slow him down because they have literally never played against him before. Absolutely, and his tendency is to go away from the body more than he goes through at the moment, but interesting to see what other teams do. Super point has been called again. Another risky one from Mr. Dak Shinamorti. He might be calm, but he's a risky fella. They have the appetite for the big moments. They will get a chance to spike first. Surely now. Ankamoto! Just inside! The point has been awarded to Ahmedabad, and Karikat want to review it. I get the feeling it's landed just, just on the line. Such a big moment, this. Karikat look confident, this is their third and final review. Are they taking this review? They have, I think they have, or have they changed their mind? That's a good call not to take the review, I have to say, by Kishore Kumar. Yes, it's a crucial moment, 
but if he only has one left, you cannot use it in the third set when you're planning on going to five. Good call. Good call. It would have gone against them had they called for a review. I, I think it landed inside, for sure. Sandoval would review every single point that his team loses, wouldn't he? <laughs> the outer reviews in the first, halfway through the first set. Angamutu. One point lead. Awkward looking rally. This! Somehow, Kalik can find the man every single time. Shafiq shuts it down. Now there's a big miscommunication here. Daniel goes, and I think he wants Nanda to take the middle. You can see that his reaction is pretty much anger at Nanda for not squeezing and taking the middle attack. Yeah, I wonder if he wanted him to hit that ball a little more aggressively. That was basically a free ball, a gift they got there. Pekant to Mutu. Here comes Daniel Mokosete. He will make things happen. He is the playmaker. He is not just a player, he's a slayer. Again, get him the ball. It doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be clean. Well, it doesn't have to be clean. The refs won't let it if it's not. But that's a beautiful tip. He's out of system. He's a little bit hanging up there. A little half moon action, but still finds a way to hit the floor. Set point to the Calicut heroes. Sorry, the end of our defenders. Oh. <laughs> and the defense will be disappointed there. They're moving. They're upright. The block did a good job, but really Jerome's got to back himself to touch that one, moving too much, I'm afraid. Set point. It's a crucial serve, this. Under Gopal is ready. Can Andavad go 2-1 up straight to the Libro? Mutto sets it. Okay, they'll try again. Will Fala come into play? No, this time it's Jerome. Hits it long. Oh, no, 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 on the line. It's... This is a moment of madness, really. Scores level once again, Jerome, how close was that? And the bath will not review it. Whenever I see 14-14, my heart starts beating really fast now. And I have to remind myself, actually, we still have to win by two, or they still have to win, whichever side. You have to clear two points. That's uh, one of the best swings of the day for Jerome, under this much pressure to stay high to the back corner. Very good. This is not a race to 15 anymore. Need a gap of two. Set point. Once again, Daniel does the trick. I love Angamutu there giving him some tips on how to attack. <laughs> and at the same time, we've said it so many times, their success to the defenders comes with using the middle as much as possible. Get Manoj in the game and they can win this game in four. And you saw Nanda there running to make sure that ball was out. I talk about this a lot. That's something simple you can do. If you're thinking the ball's going out, get there with your feet and make sure. That is a good and critical decision by Nanda. Ragul, this is super service here. Not too different from Rahul. Can he do it? Set point. Controls out. Straight to Fala. Here comes Jerome. It works once again. Angamutu is so cross with himself. We talk about Fala in the front court, but he's passing really nicely as well. This is a different ball than what he's used to. He usually takes a bit of time to adapt. He's not showing that. Ufa can go right to his man. The ball spread left to right. Difficult for the blockers. Could he have gone big on the serve key? Yeah, I think when you have that little bit of cushion, you can afford to really go for it in the serve. It wasn't that easy of a serve. I think what Angamuch is upset about is you've got to have a double stack on Jerome. Another set point, that error. Once again, a nervous looking serve. Harsh. And the missed float serves would bother me a little bit because it's a tactical serve. If you're going all out, then sure, maybe it's okay to miss. Actually, it's fine to miss. Stick with the system. The soft serve needs to go in. Another float serve coming up. Mutusami hardly ever goes big on his serves. Yes, as expected. Oh! And the bat got two one up. That is a colossal error from Sandoval. Mr. Chaudhary is loving it, and so does the whole of Ahmedabad. One step closer. Mutusami Apubu's mother loves it as well. The Ahmedabadis are up on their feet. They are one set away from a seat at the big table in the finals. Perfect example of when you don't have to do too much.
much. Like you said, Mutu, he's not going for a super serve. He's forcing the team to play. He's putting Sandoval in a difficult position. That's clever work out of the center. Great serving from Mutu. Smart moves from the defenders. Now they need 2-1. Who would have thought it? What's going to happen in set number four? You better come back and find out. We're going for a very quick break. A huge evening in the Rupe Prime Volleyball League, powered by A23. The defenders looking to make their second consecutive final need one more set to get there. There are the stats. The spiking is the same. The blocking is uh, in favor of the heroes. The unforced errors, have a look at that, with the defenders. Wow, what a game. And as per usual, I'm over there at Volleyball World getting all the exclusive stats. And what I'm seeing is Jerome is being backed up by Fala, both of them with eight points apiece. But the middle, Sandoval, only has five so far. Amduat has been able to unlock Daniel. He's got eight points. Agamutu has eight points. And I'm just loving the distribution of Mutu right now. I'm loving seeing the middle come in. I think if they can get Manoj in as well, they win this 3-1. Because they are shorter on the outside, using the middle becomes even more key. But to Sami Apov, who tried to look for uh, on Gallic and did not work. An error to start this uh, fourth set. 2-1 the score in favor of the defenders. Can they close it 4-1? Or 3-1, sorry. I like the aggression. I like the aggression out of Mucha there. He's thinking he might have a hand in front of him that he can get a fingertip off of. Ball goes wide, but I still like him being aggressive on that point. A loopy serve. What was that? A nothing serve that. I don't know what he was thinking. That pressure. It's absolute pressure that your arm goes a bit floppy and you lose the ability to control your serve. But the reaction that that got out of the teammates isn't healthy for the heroes either. They need to get the momentum. Nine service errors in all in the semi-final for Calicut. Bukra for Sando. He's making amends for that colossal error at the end of that last set. That's playing on his mind for sure. He has a point to prove and many points to score. Sandoval is always making a statement. And this is what he's saying right here. He's saying, 
group A contactless shot. Get me involved. I love that that little sidestep as well. That's something that's so tough to block. Very good from Sandro. Mutu Sami just taking the pace off the ball. Not as tactically smart as we saw at the end of the previous set from him. The service pressure's got to go up, guys. Huge celebration as well from Sandoval. The Rome once again. Oh! Almost went over. Was the idea right, Louis? I think so. I don't know if it was the toss that was a little bit off, but so much relies on this man's serve. We saw it in the second set. When he gets a run, the confidence of the defenders disappears, but they're not finding the rhythm behind the baseline. That will worry, sorry, that man. Maybe I'm getting a little bit too excited for my own good. I'm doing five service aces already. Not on that occasion, a big block. Bala stopped for the first time in the match. Taking that cross-court swing, smart from the defenders. Maybe Daniel's got something to do with it. Big thumbs up from the big Iranian here. Doesn't go on Sandoval on the back set. Releases out and takes the cross-court. That's smart. That's why they run Sandoval behind, to open up the one-on-one -on, -one on the wing. Well, they've taken three sets to be able to read Bala, and they've managed to block him for the first time in this match. Oh, a touch of luck. Here he comes. Jerome Benit goes down the line, down the angle, and uh, parks it in that sweet spot in uh, zone five. Rome, the outlet as per usual. So some scramble here, a bit of a good touch there by Ukra, but Jerome, with barely anything and almost no right to score the point, completely out of system, gets past the block anyway. Bala al Jarani with the serve. Great trajectory on it. Oh, this time the pass is too tight. Mutu's been done for a handover, I think, there. We have to have another look at this. I'm quite unsure as well. Great serving, though. That's the sort of serving that Fala had to come to the party with. Fala could need the service pressure. The question is, and the answer is, was Mutu over the net? And I'm going to say yes. So that is a legal play by Calicut. Mutu trying to grab that ball and bring it back to his side, but net to no go. Fala once again. They found another service weapon. Angamoto will do the job on that occasion. Just uh, ekes out a point off that double block. That'll make him uh, feel better. They'll calm his nerves. They'll be relieved here for sure. Fanners off the service line. Jerome's off the service line. Now they'll feel that they can sort of counter-attack in this game with a few easier serves, I want to say. And when you get a chance to see Jerome, or excuse me, Angamoto, Celebrating like that, when his eyes start to fire up, he is a different beast. Okra for the fight, will not work. Overhitting it, but that Pala. Is he now getting tired? Are they overusing him? Maybe, but this is a little bit out of the rhythm. And they haven't had a lot of time to sort of get together and find their rhythm as a spiker and a setter, especially in out of rhythm pipe attacks. That's a difficult one to time and jump with. has been a semi-final where we've seen extreme services. Super serves and service errors. Both teams. Ten service errors to Calicut so far. But well, we saw how important serving was last night for Bengaluru. Starting off with a super serve, finishing the set with a super serve. So both teams are going to try and replicate that. Wave attack did not work. Try again. Angamoto! Consecutive points for that man. He is now pumped up. Another incredible swing down the line. Don't underestimate this from Nanda. I give him a little bit of flack because he's a bit undersized, but the pass is perfect. The first swing is great. And then in the second phase, they can go to Angamutu when they're in full rhythm. In that situation, that man is dangerous. Ball's in front of him, drifting across him. Angamutu, good serve straight to Prabhakaran. Oh, lovely cover there. They're claiming a point. One more, Jerome. Okra, Abel. That is a bombshell from Abel. He has great ability. Big swing. Can and Abel. I'm having a look at the discussion from the players here. So, in my volleyball experience, it's the middle blocker who decides whether or not you block or not. So, Agamuchu is looking at the player in front saying, where are the hands? Why aren't you blocking? Follow Daniel's lead.
It wasn't Abil, that was Ashwin. Another service error. I think that's number 11 from the Cali Guerreros. Uh, they've got to sort that, that bit out. It's not even big serving. How can float serves go out? So the issue here is that the float serves are going out, the easy serves are going out, and then that's putting more pressure on the spin servers who are there to try and score you the points from the service line. They're sort of digging themselves a massive hole here of pressure. It's, it's contagious, isn't it? Both ends. But the point that to Louis, to Louis' point is that Nando's a super server. He has the green light to go for it and absolutely rip on his serve. So does Jerome on the other side. The players around need to make sure that he has the pressure off him when he steps up the line. So if you're just a standing float server, even just a jump float server, put the ball in and allow your big servers to do their damage. And I think that if this doesn't go their way, that will be the biggest Achilles heel for them this evening. Not a bad pass that. Daniel made it look so easy. Goes past that double block, which has Jerome beneath as well. Just his presence in the front court does the job. A one-point lead for the Andabad defenders as we head into an Amul cool technical timeout. And they close it in this fourth set. We'll find out. Stay tuned. Not much between these teams in set four, but the defenders have a 2-1 lead. They need this one to seal the deal and go through to the final tomorrow against the Bengaluru Torpedoes. But that man there, Kishore Kumar, and his team, they are desperate to win this set to send it to a fifth. Yeah, all the pressure on Calicut right now. Rome, though, the man with the plan, he He'll deliver nine times out of ten, get up the ball, he'll find some hands, he'll find a block out, he will find the floor. Stays high, drifting block, he's drifting a little bit, so then the block is also drifting a little bit, trying to keep in line with him. The serving has been a thorn in their side this evening for the heroes. The passing we know is one of the main weaknesses of the defenders, but that's a lollipop, and in turn it's too easy! We said if Manoj gets into the game, the defenders will be even more dangerous. The service pressure from Calicut hurting them. Manoj with only his third point of the match, but that's why you see a one-on-one. -on -one. Fallon trying to slow down something with the setter. Then the blocker is one-on-one. -on -one. Manoj firing all day long. And if you've seen the games the whole way through this league, we know that the defenders struggle out of system. But now it's Kanaka under all sorts of pressure. Not quite aggressive enough at the moment. Ball goes back to Angamutu. Big, high, rip from the angle man. Well, I think it's safe to say the beast has been unleashed in Angamutu. Great serve by Mutu to get that pressure. Prabha having to get a little kick out of Sandoval. That's his second sport for sure, if not his first. But the big swing from Angamutu, so much space down the line. Look at his eyes. Look at the clarity in his face as he's attacking. Everything's too easy for him for me, though, Key. It's off a free ball. The ball's in front of him. They're under no pressure. There's the AC3 fantasy leaderboard. Yeah, these are the players that you can choose for your own fantasy league if you head over to A23. Sandoval right there. No surprise, a couple of Ahmedabad players and two of the Kolkata players that were unfortunately knocked out last night in the first semi-final. But this match, I feel it's still got a lot left in it. Of course, a two-point lead by Ahmedabad. They have the two sets to one. 
but literally anything can happen in this league. We've seen it happen before, we'll probably see it again. I agree, but at the same time, I just feel that these guys now, they believe in themselves as defenders. They're playing with good intentions. Great man to have behind the service line at this point. And the heroes are struggling with any sort of intention on the serve and anything inside out. Sandoval, there's some intention from Sandoval over the left shoulder. It's a good rip. Again, the pass is in, the heroes can be dangerous. Yeah, Abel with a lot of clarity talking to Prava. That discussion, first and foremost, to step in and take it, gets Uka in a really good spot, and Sandoval, we know how much he loves that over the shoulder. And the celebration, forget that. Absolutely, big high fives. Ukra has left for the time being. Fallas on the front court as well, so it's a strong front court for the heroes. This is a big rotation, Jerome. We know what he's done in the second set with his serving, and the defenders will want to get off this rotation. Brilliant defense, high to the wing, and it's a big swing. Look at their hands, Angamutu. This is a big moment, but it's gone the hero's way. Wow. Well, a big substitution made by Kishore Kumar. Sushil is in the front row for a bit of blocking. He's got that height, he can get that big touch on it. Agamutu gets the last go, but no touch. This is game defining right now, right here, because Jerome is serving, and we know the pressure that he has. It's his second serve in a row. Second set, he dominated from here. Once again, it's something that has uh, been leaking points against the Calico Heroes. 11-10, two at the mark now, four points away from a spot in the grand finale. 12 service errors you cannot afford that number in a big semi-final the soft ones the float serves have cost them dearly the ones that they've missed they still have valor to come back though and serve on this rotation we won't see jerome again behind the service line abil okra but jerome finds a way he's got the will he'll find a way He's all set to slay Jerome beneath. Jamas Jerome, Jack Jerome, takes off and how. And finding the tiniest of space between the two blockers. Now there's a bit of float there. Maybe there could be an argument for closing that up, but Jerome with such good vision. Even if that block was closed, he'd go line. Even if it was high, he'd go angle or over. Once again, Amdabad going all in. They've shown such guts tonight. Action Amori has just put all of his chips on the table. This is a big move at this time. The Cedar Royale. Voila. Chance. Here come Amdawad. Angamoto! 13-11. Two points away from going through to the finals. The Amdawad defenders. Runners up of last season. Does Kishore Kumar have the guts to call for a super point? The answer is yes. Now or never, you can't take it with you, and this is the moment, right? You want to put the pressure back on the server. Fala, that was the first time a super point has been called on his serve. He took some heat off it. Now let's see if it works the opposite way. This could be the moment. Potentially set point, match point for Ahmedabad. Still in play. Now Ahmedabad have a chance. Will they hold their nerve? Angamutu, almost. Yes! Ahmedabad are in the finals! Second consecutive year in a row! Daniel Motazeni heads across the finish line! It's going to be Bengaluru versus Ahmedabad for the Summit Clash! The Calicut heroes have been stunned! Dakshinamurti is all smiles! They shot guts! It paid off! The Red Army has been silenced! The Dumba defenders have shown their might tonight! And they have made it through to the big finale for a second consecutive year. My heart goes out to the Calicut heroes. They gave it everything they had. But Ahmedabad, a touch better in the big moments. Come the big night, this semi-final belongs to the Ahmedabad defenders. What a win it is. And they set a date with David Lee's Bengaluru torpedoes. And what a final it's going to be. Wow, what a match.
watched everything really going back and forth. For me, Calico had played a really solid game. Of course, heading into this match, they knew when they were up against a very different Omnibad squad that we saw last time out. Bala, impressive. Jerome, unstoppable. But the Omnibad defenders playing like a team like we've maybe never seen them before. I think they're a team that have broken down in the past, the defenders, and that wasn't the case this evening, apart from the second set, where the service pressure was too much. Apart from that, the missed serves really hurt Calicut. They had enough in Jerome and Fala. They had enough in the middle as well, but the service hurt them, and it meant that Mutu Sami could run a really influential game out there. What a big moment for that man. A second straight final, Mortezetti, the most efficient man in the Rupe Prime Volleyball League, powered by A23. And the Angle Man is going back to the promised land tomorrow evening. Angamutu, top scorer with 13 points, and you saw it in his eyes. Once he got fired, he was not be stopped. Daniel, 10 points. You know how important it is to get your middle going. Nanda held his own with seven. Calico Jerome, of course, doing his very, very best. Bala, how important was he? Huge outing for him with eight points. But in the end, not enough to slow down these boys right here. And they're headed to the final. Big question tomorrow, who's it gonna be? The defenders or the torpedoes? It's going to be sensational. The defenders have qualified for their second consecutive final at the expense of the Canada Heroes. We'll be back after a short break. What a semi-final. Man, oh man, have we had some drama here in the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. 3-1, the Ahmedabad defenders come firing back after winning the first set. 3-1 is how it ended. There's a look at the stats, and I mean 31 spikes to 30. There is literally nothing in it. You can head over to Volleyball World and get all the exclusive stats of the Rupe Prime Volleyball League if you would like and see who the top scorers were and
how everything panned out. But here's a look at the highlights. Amnabad won the first set 17-15, and again, they had to win by two. That added a different wrinkle to this match than what they're used to throughout the season. But they played so well. Angamutu with three points in that first set, as well as Daniel with three. And Nanda coming in clutch with two. Alicut had no response until the second set, which they powered forward. Thanks to that new face right there, Fala. They won the second set 15 to nine with some big serves some super points and the last finish going Calicut's way on a big serving one by Jerome who was phenomenal. A couple of super serves hitting the baseline and there was nothing Amdabad could do but they responded in the third 17-15 they shut down Jerome from the end line and there were a lot of players stepping up Nanda had three points there Daniel with four Mutu really using all of his weapons and this teamwork these Scrappy kind of points with the smaller player on the outside, recycling. So much pressure on these players. But it was Mutu who aced that last ball, going to Amdabad on the very last point of that third set. Bring things onward. It was Amdabad to finish 15 to 11 in the fourth. So much back and forth, a lot of serving errors on both sides, but the pressure at this point was all on Calicut. The big finish by Daniel, coming up with two super points in a row, was nothing short of miraculous for these boys right here, as they will be going on to the final tomorrow to face the Bengaluru Torpedoes. Magical stuff, a magical night, and they are still celebrating as they will be long into the evening, of course. They're going to want to make sure they get enough rest, take a leaf out of Kolkata's book.